Got a farm it. I've been doing a bit of a gardening today. Uh, just preparing the soil. Look at the soil. Look at the soil. Karawe te. Te mia. O papatunuku. O te whenua nei. Um, so this is at the back of our whare. Uh, there was our compost area. I'm going to actually clean that out and put the compost in the back over there. Um, just shift it from here. There was a big hole in there. That's why I was using it. Just to try and fill it up. Anyway, dug there with the little digger we've got. And mulch up the soil. And I'm going to be doing a patch in here. So I'll just clean all of that up back in there. Big shout out to Heoranga Project, one Fano, one plot. Um, uh, we've networked with them. Uh, Kaitaki Marakai, Heoranga Project, Market, Kaikohe Market, um, in regards to encouraging Fano to grow their own kai. Um, and uh, what we're doing with the Kaitaki Marakai program is wanting to encourage uh, Marakai in the backyard. And so I thought um, I'll do a smaller size. Most of you will have seen on my YouTube channel that we've got uh, a Marakai Papakainga uh, program out on our Papakainga. So we're growing vegetables out there in the land. And uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a bit more bigger scale than here, but this one is for for the backyard. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to probably take short little videos just to show you what I'm doing at each stage as a journal. I'm going to do a video journal of the process, um, and obviously uh, having that there in the middle is not ideal. But as I said, um, I'm just starting this out and eventually I'll move all that out and put a compost bin in the back and put all my green waste in there, break it down, so forth. Anyway, if you've got any ideas, uh, at the moment I picked up some tupu kumara. So I've got a few of those I want to put on the land. Should I put it down along here? I've got some rewai as well. Should I put it along here or down in here? One of the things that I'm thinking of doing and thinking about and processing and trying to manage um, the marakai up here in the north is uh, we've come from palms to the north and so the soil, the temperatures, uh, the environment's different and so this first season I'm actually having to learn the environment, what grows well. Um, we've got an advantage here at the whare. Uh, we have um, water here whereas on the, on the whenua uh, we've got um, uh, water issues. So if you've got ideas what I can plant along here in the next week or so and in that garden there, at the moment I've got uh, Riwai, I've got Kumara, um, I've just down, been down to Bunnings here in Kaikui and had a look around uh, scoping out there there's seedlings that they've got in there. Um, yeah. So what I'm looking at doing is trying to plant things that won't need as much water on the whenua and things that need water here. Um, but I might try looking at growing kumara and potatoes uh, in the backyard here. And um, yeah, so I need to do a bit more soil preparation, put some nutrients in there just to build it up a bit. Um, and I also may over winter next year um, in this plot after we've grown here is put some um, put some garlic down in here. Oh, I'm going to grow some dark garlic over winter. See how that goes. Well, yeah, no. If you got a, got some ideas, uh, got some seedlings I can put in, that'll be good for here. Uh, gives us a shout and uh, let's let us know what you think. All right, this is the first of my um, video journal of a backyard garden, and as I do it, um, uh, may be helpful some 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 of us other farmers out there. Uh, we've dug up, uh, we've helped whānau under the Kaitaki Māra Kai program now. We've done Tahi Rua Toru Whā Māra now. Um, and this will be our Tua Ono. Uh, this is our sixth one that I'll be doing. So concurrently while others are doing these, I'm, I'm going to be doing this one here. Okay, alright then, five minutes. If you like this, yep, 
click a like, thanks, and um, share it on if you want to be part of the journey. Hey, good night.